Welcome back. It was a financial fiasco. Now a new report on Lehman Brothers says the bank was hiding billions of dollars of debt right before the financial crisis. Is this an indicator of widespread corruption in the U.S. financial sector? Is Wall Street hijacking the country? Joining me now to tell us what he thinks from New York is Gerald Salente, the director of Trends Research Institute. Mr. Salente, what do you make of this report and do you think it's an indicator of more widespread corruption on this scale? Well, Lauren, let's read from the report. Quote, speaking of Lehman, they reverse engineered the firm's net leverage ratio for public consumption. How about they cook the books to con the public into believing that they should invest in a firm that was going under? It's a whitewash. The same thing keeps happening over and over again. Here's more language that was reported. This is from Herbert McDade, who was dubbed Lehman's, quote, balance sheet czar, who in reference to the cover-up scheme to disguise the firm's financial problems said, quote, I am aware, this is from an email, it is another drug we're on, this, this scheme to cover things up. Yeah, it's another drug they're on. These are money junkies, that's their drug. And they'll do anything to anybody to keep their fix going. There are no bounds, no loyalties, no boundaries. It's plain and simple. We've said this over and over again. Wall Street has hijacked Washington. The money junkies are in control. They whitewash the language with such things as I said firms that uh, leverage ratio for public engineered the firm's net r leverage ratio for public consumption it's gibberish gobbledygook certainly you're making some sense of it do you think that the former lehman executives will come to task for this be held to task for this do you think they'll be prosecuted for these alleged actions well, maybe they'll get one or something, you know, but, you know, the word justice, they should really respell it as just us, U.S., J-U-S-T-U-S. The big guys aren't brought to justice. They get slaps on the wrist. And you can see, if this was a scheme that was committed by the average person, boy, oh boy, would the district attorney be tough, talking tough talk rather than this white shoe boy language. You know, look what's happened also. Now in this report, we're hearing about, you know, J.P. Morgan and Citi uh, helping to bring down the Lehman boys. It's criminal activity. I've said this before over and over again. If the names on Wall Street were Italian, they'd call it the mafia. The, the J.P. Morgans and the Citi groups trying to bring down Lehman Brothers is no different than the Gambinos trying to rub out the, the Gallo family. It's all about money, bottom line, and these are financial con men. We keep hearing all of these problems with the Wall Street banks, and although the Obama administration has talked about coming down on them, putting bank fees on them, regulating them, we haven't seen much action. But it seems in the European Union and in the UK, there has been more action. And in fact, the EU is discussing new rules for hedge funds to prevent another economic collapse like the one in Greece. But the US isn't on board with that plan. What does it mean for the EU? Will anything change? What do you make of the US's reaction to that? Well, 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 partially, you know, the EU is blaming the hedge funds, and well, they should be blamed for some of it. But it's really government actions that are responsible behind the whole thing and who these guys are in bed with, the financial criminals. And of course, the U.S. is trying to decouple from it because it's the Wild West over here, as I said. You know, it, 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 these are financial gangs. They'll bring down anybody and everything. So the Europeans will talk a tough game, just like they were talking a tough game in the U.S. when the crisis was at its height. But at the end of the day, it will be business as usual. So do you think that that's been the same in the U.S. and in Europe, that officials are talking a tough game but not really doing anything to change the status quo of big banks? 
Of course, it's just talk. And then nothing, very little will be done. If anything is done, it'll be just cosmetic, like they're doing here in the U.S. Look at how the tough regulations have been watered down to turn into nothing. And that's what will happen in Europe as well. Look, you, uh, in, in the U.K., Gordon Brown is under extreme pressure. And so he's putting up a, a show to make it seem like he's on the side of the people, as is Sarkozy and Pompidou and the rest of them. But when it comes down to the bottom line, it will still be the same. It's the greatest bank robbery in world history, and the banks are doing the robbing. And you mentioned quickly cosmetic changes. I want to ask you if that you think this would be one. Uh, the Federal Reserve President Janet Yellen is now a leading contender to be nominated as the vice chairman of the Federal Reserve. The White House is saying, what do you think of that change? Welcome aboard. Don't rock the boat. She's just one of the many in the crew, and it's sailing in the same direction it always has. Look, they're even now talking about the Federal Reserve uh, not having that consumer watchdog group that they were supposed to have over them. Now, it's just going to be more of the same, a different face. All right, Mr. Salente. Well, thank you for giving us uh, your point of view on all of this financial news coming out. More bad news on the big banks. And uh, as always, it's a pleasure.